Good afternoon, everybody. I'm, I'm going to be uh, speaking about a specific version of group visit that, that I've done, and so I'll, I'll follow on those heels, and, and uh, to some extent, a, a lot of this seems to be a lot of convergent evolution in this room. We've, we've all individually come to some shared uh, solutions, you know, individually to solutions. I think what I can offer is, is how to partner with other institutions in town, specifically in my case with the YMCA, to help with a disease reversal aimed uh, group visit program. I would love to travel with a, uh, some of my collaborators at the YMCA, but that's not possible. So I did um, uh, record an interview with the, the um, uh, my main folks at the Y, and if this is uh, able to work, that thanks to the uh, excellent IT staff here, which was a last minute request. So if, if this is you know sort of a technological flail, I'll just uh, disregard this part, but, but I think I'll, I'll uh, follow the YMCA uh, speaker and sort of flesh out the details of, of what I do, but I, th I think hearing from, from everybody today that uh, what, what the piece that I may be able to add is, is, is um, somebody asked where, where do you house group visits and, and one nice solution I've been able to come up with, the YMCA has already got great facilities. I don't have to create a YMCA within my clinic. They, they have it and so we uh, that's what we do, right? Um, so this will come up first, I, but I'll say as, as we're getting this up, it, it, my program started as, as uh, a, a diabetes prevention study really inspired program. I, that, that was the, the target that I was looking at. And I, I'm gonna get out of the way now and, and you'll, you'll see this for about four minutes. Plug us in and we play. I'm sure you should see a blue light. There's a blue light on it. And you see it. Yeah, the sound up the Samsung camera screen. I hear it on the computer. My mouse just froze up on me. My mouse is not a computer. Good idea. Oh, well, I think it was a good idea, but it was. <laughs> it would have been a good idea. Yeah, I, I, uh, not enough advanced planning oh, on my part. Sorry. It's, 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 oh. it's moving. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The volume's all the way up on the computer. Can you plug that in? Yeah, yeah. I had that. It's Let's plug in. Not amplified. It goes through the camera. Grateful to have 
so much. I, I, I hope that y'all were um, able to, to get enough of that audio to get a sense of the, uh, the mutual uh, th that we spoke about at the end, the win-win-win of, of the, the why and, and, and uh, me as a physician and, and patients all sort of getting what they, um, what they need. And, and uh, so uh, going a little bit backwards here, let's see how do I Uh, so this is the YMCA, uh, there's been several iterations of what this was called about 10 years ago. I, I um, called up uh, somebody I knew at the Y and said, what if I brought some patients uh, uh, to the Y who, who are ill, um, what would that look like? And, and they said, well, it sounds interesting. And we went, cleared some uh, liability hurdles and all that sort of thing. And they initially said, well, we'll call it the Fisher Project. Uh, we don't know what to call this. And, but now as of this year, and then it got called the Raleigh Wellness Project as we tried to be more inclusive and less about the cult of me. And then, and then it became P3, uh, uh, Patient, Physician, and, and Prevention, as the YMCA has upped its own engagement in this. I, I initially, they provided a facility and a trainer, and I hired an intern. I had different people engaged to help do some of the logistics of the group visit. Now the YMCA is doing all that as a medical coordinator and this gives me hope that this sort of program will be more easily replicatable in other communities because there'll be less work on the individual uh, physician. This was the environment in which I started practicing as a physician, finished my residency in uh, 2003, and then came into the world of every patient who walks in our doors, uh, uh, me, uh, uh, a type 2 diabetic. You know, that's an exaggeration, but this sort of a ballooning uh, epidemic that we all know, and I won't don't want about, but this is a national crisis that we have of, of preventable chronic illness, type 2 diabetes being uh, the flagship uh, one of those. So uh, I said, as somebody that spoke earlier, you know, um, uh, good family medicine or, or good primary care, I'm an internist, is, is trying to get down to the root cause of the problems and, and, and fix that. So I said, gosh, I don't want to just give everybody a form and let's try to get down to the, uh, to the problem. I'm going to glance gloss over that. That's, uh, you know, statistics about the prevalence of obesity. Um, and I'll kind of talk through a little bit how, how my own involvement in this has evolved. This, this is a, a conceptual slide that I, that is, is plagiarized from, I've learned a lot of great things from a couple of years of engagement with this FMEC program. And for those of you who were here uh, last year, one of the evening speakers showed a slide of, of the determinants of disease. It was a really a wonderful depiction. You know, so if we look at and we know this because trying to get to root cause of, of, of diseases. What's type 2 diabetes? 
well, it's a blood sugar over 125 fasting replicated, you know, and what's that caused by? Well, that's insulin resistance. Well, what causes that? Excessive adiposity. Well, what causes that? Well, uh, unhealthy diet and exercise habits. Well, what causes that? Well, that's all the mess of, of our human decision making, the environments in which we live, the, 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 the food choices that we have, how we choose those things, the relationships that reinforce bad habits and, and all those sort of things. So, you know, if you want to get into disease, disease management, which is what we generally have done in our, in, in uh, most medical models, stay, stay in these first two, right? And, and this is where the money is to be made if you're in a, a, a sort of a profit-driven wealth extraction healthcare system, as has been eloquently described. You just stay up here in, in uh, the downstream end, but if you really want to get to uh, what, are the, what are the causes and if you want to reverse diabetes and other things, you have to go here and you have to get into the, you have to get into relationship with people and you have to get into those, uh, you know, what, are, what are the real issues? And, and I would say when I started, when I started in this, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm a work in progress, just like all my patients, which is an important thing to say when you're trying to talk to them about, you know, uh, getting healthier. We're, we're, we could all be healthier than we are, but I said, well, geez, I haven't really struggled with weight. I generally always exercise my diet so-so, but really, I need to, I need to get here to help them get rid of that excessive adiposity. And over the course of the 10 years that I've been doing this program, I, I realized that what I was really doing was I was running a mental health program that was masquerading as a, as a physical health program because the mental health, the, the, the things, this is where I ultimately had to get to and where I, where I have gone is, is, is what is really leading to these decisions uh, that lead to all the other stuff. Um, so I, I just want to, uh, tell me if I'm running out of time. I think I'm running out of time. Yes. So uh, I, I will um, say that, that uh, it's been helpful for me to hear, I think a lot of us share convictions and ideas. Some of the ways that, that, that I've heard articulated uh, ways of, of seeing things are uh, it's helpful for me. So this, I thought I was really clever in calling it sick care and health care. It turns out we've all realized that, that, that what we do in health care now, what we call health care is really sick care. And that's, uh, that's disease management. That's staying at the, at, the, at the downstream end of diabetes, giving drugs, uh, all that sort of stuff, making a complicated uh, patient. Whereas, and that's disease management. Over here, healthcare, what I would call healthcare is, hey, how about we go to the Y? How about we engage in a group visit? How about we talk about the things that are causing these, the, the unhealthy uh, features of, of your life and body that, that are leading to disease? And, and so, yeah, we, I, I think part of the problem is our, is our terminology. We, we, we're talking about a healthcare system, which we don't have currently. I don't think it's really a criticism of the sick care system, uh, but we just need to call it what it is, because what happens is, is we come over here as a nation, we talk about, well, we'd like to be well, and we're, we're dealing with sick care, thinking that that's gonna lead us to being healthy, and it, and, and it, uh, and it, and it doesn't, but uh, I will, um, I'll let it rest at that. I'll tell you that this is sort of the what. We meet with folks, we do group visits. Uh, if anybody wants to ask me about how we build group visits, it sounds like all of you have, many of you have figured that out as well. There's a uh, uh, way to make group visits uh, financially viable either within a, a, an insured model or as I have evolved to a, a direct primary care model. Uh, and there. Okay, terrific. Thank, Thank you. you.